prayerlessness could cost you your life. And here's why. There are many people who think prayer is actually still an option. For these people, they pray maybe 10 minutes in the shower or a simple Our Father prayer before they go to bed. But prayer is absolutely important and it could cost you your life. What I'm about to share with you today may be the end of your prayerlessness forever. I remember one day, my brother and I were on our way to school and we were raised by a praying mother. Our mom, Dr. Funke Arayami, is a praying woman. And when I say praying woman, I mean her tongues have tongues, okay? She can pray for days. And one day we are on our way to school and all of a sudden, um, my brother is walking next to me talking and a lorry just comes out of nowhere as we're talking. We're on the pavement, uh, uh, crossing through this alleyway on the other side of the pavement. This lorry just comes, bang, crashes into my brother and runs him into the road. I'm mortified because it's not just my brother, it's my twin brother, my identical twin brother. I am losing my mind. I'm looking for him under the lorry. And then I find him in front of the lorry. The lorry driver gets down. Me and the lorry driver are looking at each other. We're looking under the lorry. He's not there. Where's my brother? He's right in front of the lorry on his feet. I looked at him and I said, bro, what happened? The lorry driver said, are you okay? Are you okay? I think he's Polish. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean, are you okay? Are you okay? And he's swearing and blanking. And I'm like, it's okay. So I said, bro, what happened? He said, bro, I don't know. I just felt a hand. And then my brother got home that day and me and my brother were in the kitchen and my mum said, I was praying for you, Toby. Not you, Toby, you, Toby. I've been praying for you all day. And my brother said, mom, you never guess what just happened. A lorry came and tried to run me down and I felt a hand of God. And she said, Jesus, in her Nigerian way, Jesus. I said, Mom, what was? She said, I was praying that the hand of God would protect you. Prayer is important. Prayer is literally the difference between life and death. And just like a court system, prayer is exactly the same. I remember one time I was going to court, I won't tell you what for, but I did a naughty, little naughty, not criminal naughty, civil naughty. And I was studying law at the time, and if you get any kind of criminal stuff or civil stuff on your case, you can actually be disbarred or not even enter into a, a, a bar profession. And so I was, I was really wanting to get out of this, this terrible case I was in. So let me tell you the miracles God did that day and the lesson I learned. So I show up to the court and they tell you two things. If you don't show up or you don't show up on time, the case will be decided in your absence. Second thing they told us was that you must bring ID and supporting government documents. Uh, a document, a uh, passport, something that represents you so they know that it's you that they're addressing and possibly sentencing. So I'm with my friend, he's a pastor, and what happened was I actually drove his car without insurance. Yeah, and I was on my way somewhere because there was persecution going on in a church that we were in and we were, it was midnight and they, he called me and said, we gotta go and I drove his car. Terrible idea, but I did it. We were young, stupid, but I did it. But anyway, so, here I am, and I realize I don't have my passport. Now, me and this pastor, we're looking at each other, we don't have passports, and we're, we're going to court. What are we going to do? And the pastor looks at me, and he says, what are you going to do? And all of a sudden, I closed my eyes, and I prayed. I said, God, you got to do a miracle, because this case will be decided immediately guilty if I don't bring my supporting documents. So we prayed, and then all of a sudden, God said, look behind you. I looked, lo and behold, backseat, true story. And all of a sudden, my passport was perfectly placed in the center of the back seat. This pastor went pale. He looked at me. We searched this whole car. What is it doing on the back seat right in the middle? Not even of my car, of his car. I'll tell you what, an angel dropped it there. All of a sudden, picked up the passport. We're going into the courtroom. And I said to him, I don't know why, but I feel like everything is going to be okay. I speak to the judge, three magistrate judges, 
standing in front of me. I speak to them, they're like, why did you drive this car? I said, well, uh, there was persecution in one of our churches, it was an emergency. I did something wrong, it's terrible, and I'm, I apologize. Now, according to the law, the moment you do something wrong, you, like this, your license is taken away straight away. You get six points, license taken away, you have to reapply for your test. All of a sudden, the judges went back to deliberate what they were going to do with me, and they came forward and they said, we're going to ban you for driving for 24 hours. And they laughed, and I laughed, and we all laughed. And it was like, what? He says, you're, I don't know why, you're a good man. We're gonna ban you for 24 hours. Don't drive for 24 hours, after that, you can drive. We have to punish you, I'm afraid, just 24 hours. I got off scot-free, basically, from something most people would have to reapply from. Why? I learned a valuable lesson about prayer, but one of the most valuable lessons I learned is if you don't show up, the case will be decided in your absence. According to the book of Revelation, there is an accuser of the brethren who stands before God like a prosec state prosecutor and he is prosecuting us before God day and night. And my fear for the church is if number one, we don't know that we should show up with our ID, the image of Christ. Number two, that we show up late or we don't show up to the case at all. The case will be decided in our absence. And the Bible says, thank God we have a mediator with the blood of Jesus that speaks on our behalf when we are absent. We have a lawyer and an advocate to stand for us. But we didn't just overcome by the blood, we overcame by the word of our testimony. So it is essential that you show up to the place of prayer. Why? Because Satan accuses us before our God day and night. Satan is the most consistent intercessor in the universe. Don't let him beat you. Come into the presence of God every day, determined to fight for you or your family or your friends. Because like in the case of my mom and my brother, it could literally be the difference between life and death. Thanks for watching.